guys, welcome to today's video. Today's video is all about mommy and me, and you guys know how much I love my little me's. Just to get it out of the way, no, I did not blow dry my hair today because it is a work from home day and I'm a real person. So actually, you're lucky that I even got dressed today. <laughs> but um, yeah, I just like to give my hair a little bit of break on my work from home days. Anyways, that being said, I did get a package in from Pat. This is not a sponsored video, but I have been trying out a bunch of Mommy and Me um, places to order clothes since Amani was born. We have been twinning when we've been going out for quite a while now. Now that I have a new little girl, I decided to order some Mommy and Me clothes for the three of us and I thought I would show you what I got. One of the reasons I love buying Mommy and Me clothes, aside from the fact that I think it's just so fun to all match together, is that it's just simply easier to pick out clothes. I keep them all in the same hanger, so I can just grab one hanger for the three of us, so it makes getting ready a lot faster, and it also looks so beautiful in pictures. I know that's not for everybody. Some people think that it's corny, but that's okay. You do you, this is what I do. Um, and yeah, I think that it's really affordable, actually, where I'm getting these dresses. They can be super expensive, so that's why I wanted to share. I also wanted to mention that when you order from Pat Pat, it takes about a month to receive the clothing. So if you're interested in getting anything from there, you need to predict what the weather will be a month from now. I will order them as soon as I can, as soon as they get on the site. And the clothing size can be off. So sometimes I end up with a product that I end up not using or I need to donate. I ordered from other sites such as Pop Real. Clothing from Pat Pat, in my opinion, is better than pop reel but just to give you a sense about what kind of quality you could expect from pat pat i would say you could equate it to something like a forever 21 or something along those lines for pop reel i have gotten some things that are just so poorly sewn or that are completely unwearable to be honest but of the things that i have worn i was really happy with and one of those items was actually dresses that we wore for Amani's first birthday. So I was really happy with that. Because they are so affordable, I actually purchased an extra dress, I cut it up, I covered Amani's shoes with it, I made a bow in her hair out of it, I made a whole bunch of different accessories, a bib and things like that. So it was a lot of fun for her first birthday. Let's get into the haul. I really wanna see what I got because we're gonna be having a family weekend. So I'm really excited to see what came in. Okay, so here's how the clothing comes in. It comes in these little sacks and they're actually pretty good quality sacks. And this is something that I did order because of the sizing. So the sizing was off in a dress that I had purchased for Evangeline for the three of us. And I just really love this mustard color. I think it's very complimentary for blondes. So this is what Evangeline's dress looks like. I think this is really cute. Um, but like I said, the sizing was off. This is 12 to 18 months. I really hope this fits because the other dresses that I purchased are beautiful. I'm gonna show them to you right now. This is the mommy dress. It's a spaghetti strap and it is this beautiful mustard color. And it has this open back which ties and it's a short dress. And yeah, I just think that this color looks really pretty on blondes. So that was the mommy dress. And then Amani's dress was a different style. So it just is a little sundress. That is the back of it. Yeah. And that's what it looks like. Um, I'll show you the dress that went wrong. So this is a teeny tiny dress that would fit a doll. And my little Evie like I said, eats very, very well and would never fit into this dress. But I do think it will fit their doll. So I'm going to put it on a doll. It'll be really cute and it will not go to waste. This is the next set of dresses that I have. It's a white dress and I thought this would be really beautiful, especially for the beach. Um, I bought a similar style in like a peach color and I really loved it. So here's the mommy dress. Obviously these have to be um, steamed. And this is what it looks like on the bottom. It smells okay, but I'm definitely gonna wash these. Not sure if this is gonna be too big on the top. So we'll have to see. Here's the dress that Amani would wear, my two year old, almost three. So that's her dress. I love this because I think it's gonna go low to the ground. It'll be so cute. 
Okay, let's see Evie's fingers crossed. My little chunky Evie. Yes, I do think that this is going to fit because it's very stretchy material. This has the flutter sleeves and they all have this little wooden um, detail on the button. And yeah, this little bit of ruffle on the waist. This is a onesie. Oh, it is so precious. I'm excited for these. Okay, so this is just a pullover dress. It's like easy to wear and it has the three quarter sleeve on it and these beautiful flowers. I love this. Um, and it's just kind of like a t-shirt dress. That's the bottom of it. Let me show you the bottom bit better. So yeah, that's the bottom of it. And it does not look like it, it will be see-through. I love this, I think it's gonna be so cute on. So this is the toddler dress and it's looking very good. I'm excited. This is Evie Angeline's dress. This is looking very long, but that's okay. We're gonna make this work. Okay, so the next dresses are this beautiful floral material and it's like very satiny. Oh, it's really nice. I hope this is gonna fit, um, but it looks like an empire waist. So an empire waist it goes all the way down to the floor, um, but not too tall. I'm roughly, I'm under 5'3", five, 5'2", five, so I don't have to shorten it, thank you. Oh my goodness, this is Amani's dress. So cute, and it actually comes with, this is for the waist. I guess you could put this on the waist or in their hair. That would be so cute. It's a ribbon. Well, there are three ribbons for all three of us. Yeah, we'll have to come up with something fun for that. And then, oh my goodness, this is so precious. Evangeline's outfit, it's a little romper. And it's got the little ruffles on the bottom. And it's an open back. Oh my goodness, so precious. So that's what I purchased for today. I wanna to show you a couple other outfits that we've been kicking around in on the weekends. Okay, so these dresses I already own and I believe that they are still for sale, but they are so flattering and we've gotten so many compliments on them. So they have these beautiful little bell sleeves on them and they're just very lightweight. And, um, so that was a mommy dress. It goes like just below the knee. Um, it's so cute. Um, and then they have all different options for the girls for different styles. So this is one that for Armani and it's an open back with a little flutter sleeve. And this is really beautiful. She has not worn this one yet, but the one she has worn is this one, which is similar to the mommy dress with the bell sleeve. I just love this. It is so pretty on. It look, They look like really high end dresses. And then Evangeline, let's hope that this fits her again, but she has worn this little romper. Oh my gosh, it is so precious. It has a little navy tutu on it and, and this little tutu material. And this is what it looks like. Then the last outfit that I wanted to share was also another outfit that we've been wearing a lot. I love it so much, it's so easy to wear. And this is the style of it. Um, it's basically a color block dress and it has these spaghetti straps which are adjustable. So basically, this is the dress, you can see. And again, it goes just below the knee and I really like easy to wear dresses, especially because I'm handling my kids a lot and alone a lot. So um, yes, I love that. And this is Amani's dress. It is so cute on her. And this is a little bit of a shorter dress than the other ones that I showed you. And this was Evangeline's, and I like that they have the romper options for a baby. I just think that that is more practical. But this is Evangeline's. What I like about these mommy and me sites is that the print is often sold for well over a year. So if your daughter grows out of the dress, you can often buy the next size. And in my case, I had some dresses that Amani had obviously outgrown. Now they fit Evangeline and I've been able to go back and buy the appropriate size for Amani. So we've been able to continue to use them. And again, they are very affordable and they're just so cute. We get a lot of compliments on them when we're all out together. And it's just a lot of fun. 
the end of this video, I have a fun and affordable Mommy and Me idea, so make sure you stay to the end for that. What does perfect even mean? Is there even such a thing? <laughs> <laughs> we switch up all the rules and imagine Now for my fun little mommy and me craft I came up with. This takes literally one minute. I purchased some cheap necklace and dangly earring sets from the Habitat Restore for $1 per set. All I'm doing is using a little plier to remove the earring from its base so I'll have the bead with its little metal loop and then I'm gonna put that bead onto an existing 14 inch children's necklace chain from a necklace that we already own. I have two daughters, I'll make two, but last year I had a set which was a fancy red stone with some cubic zirconian that I used for Amani and I during Christmas time and it was really special. There it is, so simple and so special. And they are very versatile, you can reuse your chains for all different stones and beads. One last idea, if you feel it is impractical to put a necklace on your baby, as a paranoid mommy, I use this pin on the back shoulder of Evie to ward off evil. The blue bead represents an eye. I swear I'm not nuts, look it up. But anyways, you can add your bead to the pin and your baby can wear it that way. That's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. It gets ingrained.